Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this yard Yahtzee set. Let's get into it. So my family, we love playing Yahtzee. And with nice weather coming around, I figure why not make one that we can play outside together with some larger dice. It'd be something fun for the whole family. I found this scrap piece of 4x4 four four in my garage. It measures about 20 inches in length. And this is what I'm going to use for my material. So what I want to do is I want to make dice that are cubes out of this 4x4. Four four. And even though we call it a 4x4, four four, it actually measures 3.5 inches all the way around. So I'm going to measure 3.5 inches on my 4x4 four four and make a straight cut. And that's going to give me my cube which will end up being my die for the Yahtzee game. So I'm going ahead and making my mark at three and a half inches and putting this on my miter saw and making a nice clean cut here. And that's going to give me a cube that measures three and a half inches all the way around on every side. And that will be my basic die. You need to have five dice to play Yahtzee, so I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this process four more times until I have five dice lined up and ready to go for my game. And while I have you here, this is a great time to remind you that if you have not done so already, I really appreciate people who subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. I post lots of great videos of things like this that beginner woodworkers can do that I think you'd enjoy. So hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications if you want, leave a comment, let me know how I did. All those things are welcome here on this channel. Thanks. The next step is just going to be to sand these cubes down and make them a little bit nicer for people to play and enjoy the game. I'm using 120 grit sandpaper here with my orbital sander. And the mission is pretty simple. Just smooth out all of the edges, the corners. I'm even going to sand every face, knock down any rough patches. We don't want any kids getting splinters or complaining that, you know, it's too rough when they're playing with, the, with these games. If you get any blocks like this that have a stamp on them or lettering, we're going to knock that off as well. You really can't over sand these things. It's just a matter of personal preference. How nice do you want them to look? Um, this is a project that I didn't want to spend a ton of time on knowing that they're going to be outside. They might get left outside. They might get left in the rain. They might get left on the grass. That's kind of the nature of the beast when you're making a yard game. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time sanding these. I'm just going to do what needs to be done to make them more smooth and easier for people to handle who might not be familiar with picking up rough pieces of wood um, on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> After sanding all the dice down, the next thing I'm going to do is grab a real dice and replicate what sides each number dot goes on. And I know some people are probably going to get on me in the comment section here for not measuring out the spacing on these dots exactly. But once again, this is a yard game. Not everything has to be perfect. You know, it's okay if there's some imperfections here or there. To me, that just adds to the character of the game. So I'm eyeballing these. And once again, I know that that's not a carpenter's way of doing things, but I'm eyeballing these dots because I don't want to spend a ton of time measuring and marking out all of these. I'm making sure I flip my cube the same way the die is flipping. So that way the right number is opposite of the number that it should be opposite on the dice. Okay, so you can use um, vinyl to make your dots from something like a Cricut machine. 
You could certainly paint them on um, if you have a template of some kind. I'm going to use a Forster bit because that's going to ensure that it's a perfect circle every time with my handheld drill here. And I'll put a link to all these tools that I'm using in the description of the video below. The key to doing it this way is just to make sure you don't go too fast because that bit will jump on you and go left or right. And then the other thing is just make sure you're going the same depth every time. I like the way this looks, but again, it's kind of up to you. I like the three-dimensional aspect of these dots on the side of the die. And again, here's just me doing that for the side of the dice that is for the number six. And once again, I just want to reiterate that I eyeballed these. I think I got it pretty darn close. You, you know, you be the judge. You tell me in the comment section if you think it looks awful. But I don't think it's worth the time to measure all of these out. What you'll notice is when you're using a four string bit like this, it might crack your wood at certain places. So I'm going to go back through with some handheld sandpaper and clean all of these holes out that I drilled um, just again to make sure that it's smooth for when we're playing the game. Again, this is personal preference how you want to finish this project. If you want to stain it, paint it, um, obviously that's up to you. What I'm going to do is spray some spar urethane on mine to give them a little protection against the weather and the elements in case they get left outside. And one trick that I've utilized in the past is screwing a little hook into these cubes and then hanging them outside to go ahead and spray or paint or stain them. In this case, I'm just spraying them. I've seen people do this with a rope or a string before. I actually prefer a chain like this because the hooks will stay inside of the link rather than all sliding towards the middle and resting upon each other. This keeps them nice and separated. And I'm just going to spray this spar urethane. Again, it's going to protect them from a little bit of the water. And I like just the wood look, but this allows me to spray all the sides, including the bottom, all at one time rather than just doing a couple sides, waiting for it to dry, turning it and repeating. This also allows it a nice little air dry time outside here. So I would recommend doing your finishing in a technique like this. It's super efficient and very quick and easy to do. And then obviously when they're finished, just unscrew that hook. Nobody's ever gonna see that little hole right there. And then you're just gonna grab a five gallon bucket or possibly even a three and a half gallon bucket that you have laying around. And that's going to be your shaker cup for your Yahtzee game. Throw the dice in there, shake them up, let them roll. And this will be a great little fun activity that you all can play outside. When the weather gets nice, throw them back in there, give them a good shake, let them roll again. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it.